Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Well, come on then, you miserable bastards. Yeah! How do you get wind of this old man? He only been down here all five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were Watch out! Of grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. What is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be. through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon. What? Sin? Christ's sakes. I should be... Do any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody Fair. needs to die here. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, d I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Oh, 
There's a whole lot of them back there. Hey, Whip, come on. Light a shot, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. Slow down, sons of bitches. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How loud I know. Come on, we need to lose them. They're getting away. Yeah. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... Uh, uh... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Right, right. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. The place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Thank you. 
keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? Ah! You got us into oh! this! There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here! This fella really don't like getting robbed! Let's just hope we don't run out of... Do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. I gotta leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move.
Hey, folks. Mister. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Girl. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the bank. Major, watch, pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like... June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old...
April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Paw, God damn it. this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! Gonna get you. <laughs> Pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Shit. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy. $17. January 8th. Yep. Hey, you're okay, girl. 
there, girl. That's a good girl. They threw us away like, like shit on the Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for dude, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you! I still exist! 